Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa Ogesti. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have been watching my videos and you have not yet subscribed, please kindly subscribe. I know my videos have been helping you. It has been of help to you. So kindly subscribe for me. For us to build the mathematics community. Also leave your comments. Leave your comments. Leave your comments. In this lesson, we are going to prove the convergence of a series and also find uh, the sum of the given series. Now, prove that the following series converges and find the sum. Summation from n equal to 1 into 7 divided by n times n plus 1 plus 2 divided by 3 exponent n. Now, let's do it very simple. So, if this is summation, we can take the sum of the respective components. So, we take the sum from n equal to 1 out to infinity. 7 divided by n times n plus 1 plus the sum from n equal to 1 up to infinity 2 divided by 3 exponent n. Now, you see that the summation from n equal to 1 up to infinity c times a n is equal to c times summation n equal to 1 up to infinity a n. So here we can write 7 times summation n equal to 1 out to infinity 1 divided by n into n plus 1 plus 2 Okay, this one let's leave it there To be very very important, let's leave this one there So we have summation n equal to 1 out to infinity 2 times 1 divided by exponent n. Now, for this summation, check the description. I've done this one alone in the description. So check the description for the sum of this series. The sum of this series is equal to 1. Check the description for the explanation so that we can put it here. So we have 7 times 1 plus Summation from n equal to 1 up to infinity 2 times 1 divided by 3 exponent n minus 1 plus 1 What about written minus 1 plus 1? Note This is a geometric series And for a geometric series We take summation n equal to 1 up to infinity Of a to the power So a times r to the power n minus 1 we have a plus a r plus a times r n minus 1 plus blah, blah, blah. So we are putting this in this form. So here, 7 times 1 is 7 plus summation from n equal to 1 up to infinity 2 times 1 divided by 3 exponent n minus 1 times 3. This is the same as 7 plus summation n equal to 1 up to infinity 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 1 on 3 exponent n minus 1. Wow, check this. Check this. Check this. This is the same as writing this very simple like that one times one will give us one and three times this will give us what is here so that is what i've done there so we have seven plus summation from n equal to one up to infinity two on three times one on three to the power n minus one from the loss of exponents 1 on 3 as exponent n minus 1 is the same as 1 on 3 all to the power n minus 1 very very simple as that so here you've put this in this form so we have a equal to 2 on 3 and we have r equal to 1 on 3 very very simple as that now, for a geometric series, it converges if the absolute value of r 
is less than 1. Or if the absolute value of r lies between negative r, so negative 1 and positive 1. So here we take the absolute value of r to get the absolute value of 1 on 3, which is equal to 1 on 3. And 1 on 3 is less than 1. So this series converges. So if it converges, it's sum. Sum up to infinity is a divided by 1 minus r. So for the sum up to infinity of the series, we have 2 on 3 divided by 1 minus 1 on 3. Let's point that on the calculator. 2 on 3 divided by 1 minus 1 on 3. And that will give us 1. Very, very simple as that. So here, we have 7 plus 1 equal to 8. So here, this series converges and its sum is 8. Remember that I said you should check the description for the proof of this. So you add the proof to it and then you see that the sum of this series is equal to 1. The series converges and this sum is 1. That's why I put it there. So check the description for that video. And just follow how I explain this one to you to get the sum to be equal to 1. Please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share and leave your comments. Bye bye.